So I the pop-up handling first for which what I'm going to do right now is I want to deal with the e-commerce app that we are using. Okay. Yesterday I have installed one e-commerce app, right? The same e-commerce app. I want to use it. So copy this name. Come back to the inspector. At the end, update these details. So this is what the scenario, this is what the app that I want to do. And I forgot to add a no reset capability here. If I add a no reset capability, whichever the earlier instance is there, it should populate that instance. Anyways, let it run so that we can see what it is launching and what would be the next systems. And if you see the APM server here, Okay, so it's trying to interact with that device and it's trying to install the app on that particular device. Okay, it will take a few seconds to get it up and running. Okay, so the app got to install and the app is launched on that device. And I am on a login screen right now. On the mobile app, I am on a login screen. I have already shared you the credentials, the same credentials I'm using here. So, which is my email ID and the password is test1234 is the password. Okay, test1234 is the password and I logged in successfully. When I refresh it, let us see this refresh. When I refresh it, so um, here before jumping on to the pop-up and other scenarios, I just want to give you a small example here. Okay, I just want to give you a small example as a practice. Let us see this text field and let us try to enter a value into this particular text field. Okay, let us try to enter some value into this particular text field. So, how are we going to use it? Okay, so how are we going to use this particular text field and how to enter a keyword? So what I'm doing as part of this particular one is in this search field, I'm entering iPhone here. Nothing more than that. Okay. I would like to enter iPhone into this particular text field. See here, when I refresh it, the iPhone got re-entered here. Okay. So what I want to do right now is as part of this scenario, I would like to enter a value into this text field. Okay. This text field has an ID property. Now, come back to the editor, e-commerce demo to app. And here, what I'm doing means product search. Okay, product search. And where is that script? One second. Product search script got generated. Let me open it. And here, delete all the unnecessary commands. And here, let us add a no reset capability as a true. No reset as true. That's what I have a given right now. The no reset capability, I'm just giving it as a true. And then the next point here is after launching the app, I would like to, okay, after launching the app, I would like to enter a value into this text field. Copy the locator, come back here, driver dot find element by dot ID. Okay, let it load driver dot find element by id and i want to enter iphone into that particular feed wait for a few seconds and kill it that's it i don't want to do anything beyond it okay i don't want to do anything beyond it 
let me try to run this scenario and see whether it is executing or not. See guys, whenever you are creating a multiple scenarios, then you will understand the different, different flows or different, different issues. Then it would be easy for you to start working on your project. That's the reason we are covering different sets of scenarios. We would have a completed with one or two scenarios, but we are picking multiple scenarios for your better understanding purpose itself. Okay, for your better understanding purpose itself, we picked the multiple scenarios. The program execution was started. It launched the app and the script got a fail. So the issue here is, let us see. Invalid element state exception. The issue you are getting is invalid element state exception. Cannot set the element to iPhone. Did you interact with the correct element? See here, this is what the exception is. Okay, let me put that exception in this document. Okay, so the objective of this particular topic is how to handle that exception itself is the today's uh, the first topic. Okay, so here we are getting this exception, invalid element state exception. Cannot set the element value to iPhone. Did you interact with the correct element? The answer for this particular one and what is the issue here is that a text field is not ready to enter the values or to accept the values. While doing manual testing, while doing manual testing, how we use it to test it? First of all, we will click on that field then the cursor will blink in that field. And then we use it to enter a value. And then we use it to enter a value. So write your program in the same way. Means instead of a directly entering a value to the text field, first, Perform a click operation and then enter the value. So what I'm going to do right now, so go to your program and here within this particular program, okay, by this ID instead of this one, I want to perform a click operation first. And what I'm going to do right now means as I'm um, just to cross check whether that locator is an appropriate or not. So here I'm using an, <coughs> excuse me, no reset capability as a drew and I'm starting the session now so that it will establish a new session. And on that new session, let us try to identify the locator for the text field. After performing a click operation in a text field, whether we are getting any locators or not, let us see. Based on that, we can perform the operations. Now, uh, place the cursor. Now, refresh it. So I on, on my mobile browser, I did this particular pressing operation. Hence, I can see that. Now here, if you see the ID, search edited text box is coming. Come back here, copy this ID, come back here. And this is a different ID, place that ID. So the first space view, we can use it for, okay, the space view, you can use it for clicking. And the search edit text, you can use it for entering a value. So maybe you guys can ask me a question, Surendra, why are you using a full ID? Can't we use a search text? We have already covered that topic, right? Uh, so you can specify this complete ID, including the package name, or you can also give this a top space view. It will work. Okay, now I'm good with this particular uh, flow. Let me try to run the script and see whether the script execution is happening or not. As said, there is an issue with my visor, hence I am unable to mirror my screen, but uh, you can see the program execution completion message here once the script execution got completed. But from my end personally, I can cross check whether it is working or not. If the program comes to the line number 35 itself means the execution was successful. Right. So let us see. It entered that particular value right now. Okay. It entered that particular value right now. And if it's waiting for a minute, and then it's a terminating the app. The execution got a completed successfully without having issues.
So if you clearly observe, we have a scene one issue, invalid element state exception and how you need to deal that particular exception. Okay, perfect. Done the deal.